This meditation is not about resurrection. I'm going to play with the root word from which resurrection evolves, and that is resurge or surge, and in Latin, surgier. It goes back to what I believe is an earth-based wisdom where it was understood that life itself was an ever-present flow of death and life. Continuous motion of rising and falling. I really felt the presence of surge when I experienced that very huge body of water called the Pacific Ocean. It has surge or what I liken it to is the ocean breathing. It can be felt when floating in a deep tidal pool or protected inlet or a moored boat. The ocean is always breathing and you can feel this rhythmic surging and pulling back so soft and steady yet deep and powerful. So please join me as we begin our meditation in the darkness. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes. Imagine this dark space all around. Feel a deep trust of being cared for and supported. Your breath and heartbeat are activities of your body which need no willful prompting from you. Feel your body pulsing and beating in synchrony with this darkness that surrounds you. A center of darkness and feel how everything responds and moves with your breath as one. Stay in tune with this natural, unified breath with all that is around you. Then, in a moment of attention, you feel a slight touch of warmth. And this rise in temperature activates a release of chemicals and hormones that compel the very inner workings of your being to begin the unfolding. Reach down, unfurl deep into the dark, mineral-rich wellspring. Stretch upward toward where the temperatures are growing ever so slightly warmer and a slow brightening of light beckoning you forth. Feel the pulse, the surge of the unique earth breath buried within the whole cosmos. expanding and relaxing, inspiring and expiring. Taking in, letting go. This is effortless surge and we notice it easily in the crocuses, the daffodils, the irises and tulips. And we think of all that work they did to break through the soil. But they put forth no willful effort as they stretch and unfold into visibility in order to express their beauty and purpose. They are simply endowed with this creative power. The process just happens, and we as sister brother life forms, and with the intricate and interwoven relationships that we have with Mother Earth and Father Son, 
we are also endowed with this very same ease and the ever-present resurgent ability to stretch forth from darkness in coordination with our surroundings into life. With your attention on your breath again and with your heart-mind, feel yourself residing in this life energy. Turn yourself over to the deep peace and trust in the slow pace of your unfolding. Feel the surge of the power inherent in every cell of your seed body where no effort is needed to unfold your perfection. With each few degrees of warmth and the nourishment from the earth and the light from the sun, slowly unfold yourself through the darkness and reveal your God self into manifestation. This is your resurgence. Let us now just take a couple more breaths for you to bring your meditation to a conclusion. However you want to express your resurgence this is not something that just happens once a year. It is available to us every day. Actually, every moment. I will call us in one minute as you allow your conclusion to your meditation. Resurge forth. You can break through the soil or you can just simply be present with the breath. Let's become of our breath. Let's become aware of our breath once again and of your human body sitting in the chair here at the sanctuary or at home. And begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Namaste.